Hi, Tony Barada here. Uh, I wanted to talk to you today about how medical professionals describe the severity of a traumatic brain injury. Uh, the, the medical professionals use three different categories, mild traumatic brain injury, moderate traumatic brain injury, and severe traumatic brain injury. And these characterizations or labels are based upon the initial presentation of the brain injured person. It has absolutely nothing to do with the long-term consequences of these brain injuries. I have had clients who have suffered what have been categorized or labeled as severe traumatic brain injuries who have less significant long-term problems than people who have been categorized as having mild traumatic brain injury. Now, the two things that go into determining the level or the labeling is loss of consciousness and post-traumatic amnesia. Loss of consciousness means that you've totally lost the awareness of yourself or your surroundings. Whereas post-traumatic amnesia means that you have, you know where, you know who you are, you know where you are, but you have a loss of memory or when people tell you things, you can't remember what they're saying or you are confused or disoriented. So the, the, for a mild traumatic brain injury, that's determined by a loss of consciousness of anything less than 15 minutes and for post-traumatic amnesia of anything less than an hour. So if a, if a person's knocked out for 14 minutes and then is confused and disoriented for another 45 minutes after that, that is a mild traumatic brain injury. Um, loss of consciousness of greater than 15 minutes and or um, a post-traumatic amnesia for a period of time from one hour to 24 hours is a moderate uh, traumatic brain injury. And then lastly, a, a severe traumatic brain injury is anything that is um, a, a loss of consciousness. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, a moderate traumatic brain injury, you, you, the loss of consciousness is greater than 15 minutes and less than six hours. So anything greater than six hours for a loss of consciousness and a post-traumatic amnesia of greater than 24 hours is categorized as a severe traumatic brain injury. But again, it's very important that this is a labeling for use by medical professionals solely to determine the initial presentation of the brain injured person and is not meant in any way to describe how um, uh, severe in actuality or in the long term or uh, what effect this brain injury will have on this person's life over their lifetime. Uh, my name is Tony Barada, and I hope this has been helpful to you.